Let's check out this song from Hyper Sounds. The challenge in this song for a drummer is what to play. Because in this song, there's not really a snare drum playing. So you have to fill that in to your own to your own liking. The groove that's actually playing on the record is a compa zook kind of groove. Most of the time, zook will sound straight like this. Compa is very similar to zook, only thing the cowbell is coming out more. What I have in this song is something very similar to that compa beat I just played just now. If you listen to what I was just playing on the cowbell just now on the compa pattern, um, this song have a little bit less notes on the cowbell part. As you can see, it's just a zook pattern on the hi-hat. Four on the floor with a kick, and then a pattern between the cowbell and the floor tom. But that's the original what they're playing in the song. But if you're playing along with it, or you're playing along with this song and you're playing it live and you have a machine running, you can add in the snare. Let's see how we can sound when we add in the normal basic soca snare. Because it's in the soca family, it's not sounding too bad. But it can even sound better if you just change up the groove from the snare a little bit. It sounds a little bit too much, too basic, too, too average. Let me try another pattern. That's gonna sound like uh, gonna sound like this. It's a little off the basic one, but let's see how it can fit in with this song. Okay, that one kind of sound a little better, giving a little bit more pep. But those two notes are playing the whole time. But still, I feel it's not really all the way what you what you're feeling with the song. I think what I mean is, um, if you listen to the cowbell, the cowbell pattern, you need a snare drum that kind of accents and helps along with that cowbell pattern. I would play a snare that was going on the R1 and the and of three. So one E and R two E and R three E and R four E and R. This snare drum pattern has a little bit less notes, but it's fitting good with the cowbell pattern. To me, that kind of feel more complementing and and interacting with the cowbell. Then when you're playing along with the song, you can keep the hi-hat playing the zook pattern. Kick just playing four on the floor. And then with the snare drum, you're just playing that pattern what I just played just now. If you want, you can even add a little bit extra by adding a, a double on the snare. So you get one E and R, two E and R, three E and R, four E and R. In that way, you can just play along with the uh, whatever drum machine or play along with the song. The whole drum pattern, without playing the cowbell, can sound like this. So instead of playing the cowbell, what the machine will be playing, I can play the hi-hat, the zook pattern, the snare drum, playing that pattern what I showed you just now, and the foot just playing the kick. Depends what convenient for you, you can play it a uh, traditional way, just right hand and left hand on the snare, or you can play it open-handed, play that on the left hand, the hi-hat, and then play the snare with the right hand. Gives a little bit more opportunity to play some thumb in between it as well. Right quickly, let me show you what the hands are doing separately. 
Um, I'll just start with the zook pattern first and then I'll add in the snare drum after that. And when I'm playing open handed, it's exactly the same notes, but it's just the hands are changed around. Alright, I hope you kind of understand the way of thinking of how to find which drop pattern to play in a song. Otherwise, just shoot me a message and let me know if you want to hear something. And that's all for the instruction part. Hope you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Or leave a message if you have any suggestions.